This is Lewis Hamilton's dream Formula One circuit. And today we are driving that circuit on Assetto Corsa with a modern Formula One car. This is once again by the master Dime. He's brought this to life beautifully. I mean, this circuit, I mean, by the track map alone, looks mental. A couple of weeks ago on the channel, we drove Lando Norris's dream circuit. So if you did miss that video, be sure to go check that one out before you see the rest of this one. But uh, I'm looking forward to this one because with the Lando track, I had already driven it before on the Quadrant channel and then I was revisiting it. This one, I literally have never driven. So let's dive into it. Let's see what the layout's like and then let's see what some racing's like as well. All right, strap yourselves in, ladies and gents, because if this is anything like Lando's Dream Circuit, um, this is going to be a roller coaster and a half. I don't know what it is about Formula One drivers and their Dream Circuit. Obviously, they're just putting bits of their favorite corners together and it never actually looks like a normal circuit. It's always just ridiculous. So let's see how this is. It's um, a bit of a tamer start to the circuit compared to Lando's one. We've actually got quite a, quite a nice section that was. Little stadium area. Very, uh, I would say medium speed corner, not high speed. Medium speed flowing sections. Big grandstands. I'm loving the detail on the uh, surroundings of the circuit so far. Lots of grandstands for the best fans out there. Now we're coming to the loop section and a bit of elevation change here. Look at the left, bottom left. There's the crisscross. But massive, massive curb as we loop around. Bit of a slight banking. This is, okay, this is crazy. This is mental. <laughs> it's flat out as well in this, uh, in this modern Formula 1 car. And we now come down the crest. We're going to cross back over. Okay, this is a bit of a large break zone. That's a bit awkward. That's an awkward section, but I like that. Now we're into a... I'm getting big Monaco vibes here. Oh, no. Where are we going? Right. Okay. Yeah, Monaco vibes. Singapore maybe as well. Just... Ah! Oh, street circuit! <laughs> narrowly. Narrowly missed that. The AI. Mark my words. They're going to get caught out on that corner. Absolutely. Then it kind of opens up a bit. Um, oh, okay, is this like a... Uh, I can't even tell what kind of circuit... Oh, what the? What corner is that circuit from? I can't tell what this section's kind of meant to be like. We've got... We've not even got an apex curb there. We've just, I'm not going to lie. That bit reminded me of like Valencia's street circuit, which is a very odd circuit to draw inspiration from. Then we've got a very... That was a very weird... Uh, banked bit on the left and then oh my god this is confusing me to no end did we just back onto ourselves i swear we did well there was like an alternate layout of that corner i'm really flummoxed by this bit this has been absolute oh this is messing with my brain that you know what and it makes sense because this is the part of the track that we're on it literally makes no sense it's i'm sure they're all very famous corners but they're all backed onto each other in the weird... That's the end of the lap then. That's it. Unreal. Okay, that was so odd. Right, let's drive it with a bit of anger and concentrate and see what we can do here in terms of a lap time there. So, oh, big braking needed there. But then we can plant the power on the exit. Okay, these corners we can go a lot quicker, I think. Just use the second brake marker board as a reference point. Set the car up for the next brake zone. So, want to be on the right-hand side. Open up the corner. Lot of curb. Good. Right, this was pretty much all flat, which is kind of amazing. We can just go flat through this entire first section here as we wind up. This is definitely, the for me, the most pleasurable part of the circuit so far. Like that flow. And then this is just an epic corner because you're just flat. And it, it feels a bit like NASCAR or IndyCar, but... Because you know you're going up. You know it's going to get quite fun as we come down now. Break point around there. Turn in. Oh, no. Okay. All right, we're trying that one again because we got that horribly wrong. And we didn't even get to Sector 2 or the horrendous Sector 3, I must say. Right, take this a bit better. Apexed a lot tighter this time around. And got a bit more confidence of where I'm meant to be breaking. Blind turn in. A lot of curb. Right tight on the right then open up the corner because then we're going to keep right nice now we just come to the easy bit where it's flat out and this entire time i'm pretty much just thinking about where i'm meant to be breaking once we 
exit the corkscrew up and go down into the heart of that Monaco style sector two. This is actually pretty scary when you get close to the curb there. I'm quite I'm quite concerned about how close my tire was there. Right, this time I'm gonna brake a lot earlier. Use that brake marker board as a yardstick tight on the line. Lovely. Very close to the wall, which is absolutely how you should be taking that corner. Very close to the wall apex there. This is a very tight corner. Just about make it. That definitely is a first gear corner, I think. So far, this is going quite well, actually. To say this is our actual first lap in anger of the circuit. This is really not too bad. Oh, no. That is a very... This section, I just can't believe Lewis... It, like, this is part of his dream circuit. It's such an unenjoyable part of a track to drive. That is amazingly annoying to drive. Like, what was he thinking? What was he smoking when he decided, yep, yeah, that's going to be a really enjoyable part of my dream circuit? As we just get it wrong on the wall there. And in this section, this just baffles me. So, you think it's a quick corner, but then you have to break because there's a blind right into a left immediately and then we're coming through to the final corner which is kind of a fake flat out corner a little lift off needed i think and then we get to the well this is the main straight so that is a two minute ten i mean i think you can we can definitely go sub two minute i think it's a i think we can do like a 150 something but i mean that mid to that last sector or, or the end of sector two that surely cannot be good to have a race on. I guess we're going to find out because let's just get straight into it because I want to see what the AI make of that section. Set up a three lap race. Whether the AI on the grid make it past the first lap onto even the second one, let alone the third, is another thing. As we go to five red lights, it's Hamilton's dream Grand Prix. We're on the way driving in Hamilton's current Mercedes car. Let's see how we go. I think this first sector should be calm. There's plenty of room. Actually, a decent, you know, section for some racing is uh, the cars can go three wide there as we go to the inside of the Alpine. And the uh, kick Sabre, I think that was on the left-hand side. And watching, oh, that was a beautiful corner cut by the RB car. They're already getting to the swing of things, cutting the curbs, track limits on the edge of what is legal. But now we come to the, well, I, I, maybe they have even a problem here going up this. Can we go side by side up the spiral? Here we go. Oh, double overtake into the spiral. They're actually doing really well. Look at that. That's, that's nearly side by side for the two cars ahead of us. Oh, they're drifting wide. I'm drifting wide. Can we stay committed? Oh, oh, oh. Run the outside of the Aston and the Red Bull. Neck and neck with Verstappen. Oh, God. Please don't turn in. Oh, that's good. That's decent. Oh, <laughs> he's at the wall. He's at the wall. That was actually good racing, though, wheel to wheel. Oh, they're getting very close to the wall there, though. Now, surely this corner they're going to have problems with. No, no, so far. That's all good. No, what? No AI hit that inside wall. I thought they honestly would. And now we get to the section that I'm just not great at. And watch how the AI are going to be perfect at this. As yet, there you go. They get a great launch off that turn. I'm going to try and follow their racing line to try and improve. So they're taking a real wide line here. First gear, probably, yeah. First gear. Then go all the way to left. Keep it in third gear. Oh, they get very close to that white line on the inside. Okay. And then here, I didn't break enough last time out. It's a very inviting corner, but then it tightens up on the exit. And then this section, I'll just never understand what on earth Lewis was playing at with this bit. Because, okay, you know what? Okay, no. When you hook it up, it is quite satisfying, that part. I'm still not sure about the entire section earlier. As we go around the outside of the Ferrari and get up into second place. It looks like we're chasing after the McLaren. Getting the hang of it, actually. I mean, I, as I've said before, Sector 1, I like. I really like. Sector 2, I'm still trying to figure out how that's meant to be pleasurable. Maybe this time, if I nail it, I might act. I think it's probably on those circuits. You know, Hamilton, he's such a great qualifier. And, you know, he likes to dance the car around when he's really comfortable with the car. Clearly not the 2024 Mercedes this year so far, as we go around the outside of the McLaren. So I feel like it's one of those circuits where once you dial in and you get used to it, 
that's when it becomes really enjoyable, when you're really on the edge, on the limit of, you know, going from left, right, left, right, hard break here, turn in here. So that's, uh, I I'm trying to get into the mind of Lewis Hamilton, and that I feel like that's what he's going to enjoy in a lap. So that's probably what this entire section is about, basically, is being on the limit. Especially like with a corner like this, we have to be so close to the wall on the inside there to not lose too much time, then immediately think about the next corner and set it up. Like, that's exactly what Hamilton's going to be about, is setting up corners whilst taking the one you're in, you know, to the limit, basically. That's a bit of a double... That That's like Hockenheim, isn't it? That last... Those two corners. That's got to be Hockenheim, last two corners. This section honestly feels like Valencia. Valencia Street Circuit. I cannot tell. Let me know in the comments below. Um, like, if you've watched the original video, or you just know already, like, what corner is that meant to be? Because I really cannot picture it. But you know what? We've taken this entire section much better than we ever have. We narrowly missed hitting the wall there. Going to take inspiration from the AI and stick to the left here. That appears to be the motive to take this corner. A little bit wide there. Not apexing as well as I want to. I reckon this is flat, right? No, little lift off needed. A lot of curb on the exit, DRS open, and it's, uh, what's it going to be, a two-minute set? Wow, okay. So, actually, you probably, I actually know. I, I, I thought I could do, like, a one 150 something, but that's actually pretty ridiculous around this circuit, because it is quite long, to be fair. Last lap, if this corner was actually a thing in real life, oh, my word, would it be uh, a, a sight for sore eyes. Like, imagine actually watching it on TV and knowing that's actually real. That would be incredible and also very dangerous i'm i'm sure with the speed you're going and the turn rate is we've nailed that oh no okay nailed, nailed it a bit too much there as we hit the wall right turn in nice keep it on the right to set up this corner that's better right very wide here and then this is like the double hock and i'm turn oh that was good oh that was very good Immediately. Oh, that's still not perfect. Need to break earlier and really tighten off the corner. This section, this one's just, this may be the worst corner I've ever seen. <laughs> what was my brother thinking? <laughs> As we go through the final part of this section. Oh, we nailed that bit though. That was good. Right, this bit, can we actually get right? I'm going, going to go for a deeper entry and then on power early. There we go. That's better. And then this section, right, can we nail it? I think once we see the curb start breaking, and then left, a lot of curb there. Playing hard and fast with the white line. And then we come through the final bend, little lift off needed at the end there to get through. DRS open, run to the line, and it's a 2.05, which is going to be our fastest lap of the entire video, and quite nicely on the last lap. So that was Lewis Hamilton's dream circuit. Uh, very satisfying first sector. It's a good start of sector two. And then I feel like as he got onto the last bit of the circuit, things just started to... He, he, was just, he was just filling corners for the sake of filling them. I don't know. But once again, an amazing mod, you know, track brought to life by Dime. Go check him out in the description if you want to check out the circuit for yourself. Because I'm just... I'm in awe of someone's ability to actually make a circuit like this for you to actually race with some sort of semblance on a set of course. Uh, unbelievable talent. So check him out. If you're new around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.